Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 6.6, .6, add and subtract mixed numbers. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to add and subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, Denise mixed one and four fifth ounces of blue paint with two and one tenth ounces of yellow paint. How many ounces of paint did Denise mix? Let's look to the green box to help us find information in our problem. It says, what operation are we going to solve? Well, if we have some blue and some yellow, we want to know how much the mix was, so that means that we are going to add. Do the fractions have common denominators? One has a 10 at the bottom and one has a five. So no, they do not. So we're going to have to find common denominators before we can add. Let's go ahead down to our steps. Step one says let's estimate. Four fifths is almost five fifths. So one and four fifths is going to be almost two. Plus two and one tenth. One tenth is close to zero, one half or one, it's close to zero. So two plus zero is just going to be two. So we're going to estimate that it will be about four. Now let's go ahead and find common denominators and add. Four fifths and one tenth. So we need a common denominator with five and ten. Remember, we can list out multiples to find the lowest common denominator. 5, 10, 15, 20, and 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so the lowest thing that they have in common is 10 which is nice because one tenth is already as tens, so we don't have to change it. So two and one tenth stays the same, and we need to change our first number. We're going to change a five into a 10. In order to change a five into a 10, we have to multiply by two. And whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So four times two is eight. And we're just gonna bring that one from the mixed number over here. It doesn't change at all, and now we're ready to add. Eight tenths plus one tenth is nine tenths, and two plus one is three. So she has three and nine tenths ounces of paint. And if we think that nine tenths is almost 10 tenths, which would be a whole number, that would be almost four. So our estimate was spot on. All right, now let's try an example with subtracting. When we subtract, we still need a common denominator. So let's look, do we have a common denominator, six and four? No, we do not. So we are going to use a common denominator in order to subtract. Before we do that, let's estimate. If we have four and five six, five six is almost a whole number. So four plus one would be five minus three fourths. Three fourths is almost four fourths, which would be a whole number. So two plus one would be three. So we are going to estimate that our answer is going to be about two. Now let's find a common denominator and subtract. Let's list out the numbers that six and four have in common. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Now let's count by sixes. Six, 12, 18, 24. Let's go with our lowest common denominator. The thing that is the smallest that they both have in common is 12. So let's use that as our common denominator. How do we change a six into a 12? Well, we have to multiply by two. 
If we multiply by 2 on the bottom, we have to multiply by 2 on the top. So 5 times 2 is 10. And don't forget that that 4 from our whole number needs to jump in front of it. So we have 4 and 10 twelfths. Now let's do our second fraction. Its denominator is going to be 12. How do we make a 4 into a 12? We multiply by 3. If we multiply by 3 on the bottom, we have to multiply by 3 on the top. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then bring your whole number 2 over to your numbers. So now we are subtracting 4 and 10 twelfths minus 2 and 9 twelfths. 10 minus 9 is 1 twelfth. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So we get the answer 2 and 1 twelfth. 1 twelfth is a pretty small fraction, so we could say that our answer of 2 is close to our estimate, so we are correct. Great job so far, fifth graders. Time for the lesson activity. Today's lesson activity is number one in the share and show section of your paper. It says, use a common denominator to write equivalent fractions with denominators and then find the sum. Write your answer in simplest form. So if we start with a small, the lowest common denominator, we'll make our simplifying easier. So the number that is smallest that 4 and 5 both have in common, we count by 5s, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now let's count by 4s. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Oh, the one that they have in smallest in common is 20. So we're going to make our denominator 20. So 5 changing into a 20 means that we multiplied by 4, which means we have to multiply by 4 on the top. 2 times 4 is 8, and then we bring our 7 over. Now let's do our second fraction. We're still going to make our denominator 20. So how many times do we have to multiply 4 to make 20? We'll have to multiply by 5. If we multiply by 5 on the bottom, we have to multiply by 5 on the top. 3 times 5 is 15. Now we have bring over the 4. All right. Now it's your turn, fifth graders. You have your two fractions with common denominators. You need to add them and then put your answer in simplest form. Remember that simplest form means that the numerator and the denominator do not have any common factors that you can make them smaller by dividing by. Go ahead and do this work on your paper and be prepared to show it at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.